Okay, so this is the first step. We're gonna take a little almond butter today and we're gonna put it on this. This is kind of how I slather it on and do both sides. It won't stick if you use parchment paper, wax paper. So we're gonna do both of them. Very easy. It seems like a lot, but when you get to the Dremel, this stuff goes pretty quick. All right, so that's it. And then we're gonna just cover it and put it right into the freezer. That's step one. So we are gonna jump right in and show you guys how to Dremel your dog's nails. Um, I have elected to use the battery, recharging battery one. The one that plugs in is a little too powerful and can heat up too high at a high temperature and possibly heat your uh, dog's toenails up too. So we're using the, this particular Dremel and I've used this for a few years, had great successful success with it. So I just wanna show you the basics on how to get your dog used to the Dremel. So uh, Tula is gonna be our model here. And we've always Dremeled her nails, but when we switch and use a new one, we always get her used to it again. So instead of just grabbing hold of her paw and jumping right into it and trying to Dremel it down, I want her to have a positive association with this. So even before I turn it on, I'll let her snip it. And then one of the things that I'm gonna have you guys do is get a wooden spoon, and we are just using almond butter today, and she's gonna have a little lick, and then the spoon's gonna go away, and she's gonna have a little sniff of this. This will pair it as a good positive association. Even this, where she's backing up a little bit, you can tell that she's a little hesitant, probably is predicting what's gonna happen next, but she came forward that time to the Dremel, so she gets a little lick. All right, so instead of using a bunch of really high value treats, sometimes it's really easy to have a partner and somebody help you hold the little wooden spoon with almond butter, peanut butter, sunflower seed butter, and then you can put that down and then have her come toward this, right? So the second step would be to just turn it on. So when we turn it on, she tends to back up as well. So I'll keep it a little lower and just allow her to come a little closer. So if she doesn't do anything, I turn it off. Oh, she's coming closer. She wants her, her reward. Okay, so now I've got her in a down side position. So if you've noticed, her paws are facing away from me, so she can't push off of me. And what I'm gonna do for having her get in this down side position, I'm just gonna offer a couple little tasty treats. All right, good. So I'm gonna show her what we have so it doesn't surprise her. And then the second thing is, and this is where it's really helpful if you have a partner, somebody to kind of hold the spoon while you do this. Good, and then I'm just gonna turn it on. So you can see she stopped licking as soon as it turned on. She's predicting what's gonna happen, okay? So this is gonna go away, just set it to the side. Good, and we're gonna start with the back of her paws. This is the easiest place to start. Sometimes the front paws can be a little more sensitive, mostly in our dog. So what I'm gonna do is I can see through her little nails. She's got all clear nails and you can see right where I don't wanna hit that, that's that quick. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this on and this is where your partner <laughs> would grab. Oh, somebody's helping me out today. He's gonna grab the spoon, look at that. I have a great helper. All right, so, and if you've noticed, I'm, I'm holding this. I wanna hold her nail so it doesn't wick. You can hear it sounds really, like that. Sounds really jagged when that happens. That's all the further I really wanna do. I just wanna do the very tip, especially if your puppy or your dog has not been um, properly socialized to this. And you don't want to hold it too long because they do get warm. They get a little heated. But that's just the beginning of this one. That's just the beginning step. You just do the very tippy tip tip. If you do this often, one more little nail. Good. And then let's show what she's doing over there. Give her a little lick. Oh, good job. And then maybe you take a break. You just do one paw and take a little break. 
So she's still calm. If you've noticed, I'm not touching her. She's not jumping up and running away. I've taken a break, given her time to kind of re uh, get comfortable or come off her threshold. So, okay, so here's another position that you can hold your dog in while you do this if you don't, if they are not comfortable on their side. Um, she's also comfortable sitting on her back like this and I've got her wedged between my knees. So it, it allows her to feel a little more safe and she can't wiggle away. Um, and you can see her little nails definitely need to be dremeled down. So the front ones are really sensitive with her. So I'm gonna just turn this on very low. And as soon as I come in and do this, I'm gonna have somebody come in with a little magic spoon. <laughs> Good. And then remove that and we're gonna come back in. Now the nice thing is my dog has these nice clear nails. Look at that. Take that away. Good. Good girl. Good. And then we'll go back in. She's got a little taste in her mouth. And again, I'm not pushing hard. I'm kind of coming from the side and going over the top. I find it's easier to go from the side and come back over versus just pushing really hard on it. It might be a little too sensitive for that. You don't want to push down on that nail bed. So we're going to leave it that one. So give her a little taste. And again, no rush with this. I'll take that. No rush with this. You want to make this the best, most positive experience for them because you've got many years ahead of you to do this. And if you're not going to do it, you're going to set up your groomer to do it for you. Um, so that's kind of the long and the short. I just wanted to give you how do you slowly start to dremel your dog's nails. So don't forget your wooden spoons. Get a partner. I really think that helps. And do it slowly. I would do maybe one paw, take a break, do it another time. Because eventually you'll be able to do it all in one swoop. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Molly with Just Paws Training. And we will see you out there with more training tips.